Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2021, and we have 57 days left in the 2021 edition of the Game of Life, and I hope that you are playing along with me. When you hop on this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. And I have an intermittent fasting day planned. Yesterday, I had an intermittent fasting day planned as well. And it was actually a small to medium-sized battle to keep it. Um, and that happens some days. I was Everything's going good, doing fine. Had to go do something. And then I got back here about 6.45. And 6.45 p.m., you know, I'm not eating anymore at that time. I'm done for the day. And my mind said, you know, it's, it's okay. You can do a holiday. You can do a holiday. It, it's okay. You you, sh you really should do a holiday. And, I'm, and I said, that's just dumb. Why would I do a holiday right now? I'm going to start the shibby. I mean, the fast track in 45 minutes. Why would I do that? That's just dumb. Not even really you know, <laughs> telling myself that it was dumb. There's not even a meat, like a restaurant revolved around it. There's nothing. So this kept battling. And so my husband, he goes, I'm out of milk. I'm going to go. See, I don't buy his milk because his milk is fat storage in a jug. He says, I'm going to go to the store at 7. And you know what my head said? Ooh, you can eat at 7. Nobody will even know. I mean, of course, I would have marked it as a holiday. But nobody, he doesn't know what I'm marking my days as, you know. So he goes, I said, no, the devil said, nobody will even know. He won't even know you ate that. He won't even know you ate that. You can eat that at seven when he leaves. And I was like, that's just wrong. Um, so then all the way up until 725, I kept saying, um, you can have a holiday. I'm like, the, sh the fast track starts in five minutes. Why would you do that? That's just really dumb. Of course, I, I didn't do it. But this is the this is the mind battle. This is the internal battle that's going on. And then I have I do the fast track, and after the fast track, I was doing um, you you have to process the video, put it on YouTube, put it on the website, and then after that, I was changing all of the daily shares. Um, so there's some new daily shares up there for y'all to share. We certainly appreciate that. If you click on profile and you're on the website. It's the second thing down from your uh, profile picture, but on your phone, it's in that little black circle, top left-hand corner. Um, it's also in the green button, your resources, tools, and stuff like that. Um, so I went and shared all the shares. Well, that, all that takes about another hour. So that hour got over. It was 9.30, and do you know what my mind said? Go start that holiday right now. Dumb, no. So I said, not gonna do that, not gonna do it. That would just be dumb. But you know what? It kept on and on and on. And I mean, I battled it and I won. Yay! I battled it and I won. But I just wanted y'all to know that that happens. That happens um, to everybody. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about is, you know, thinking about sin. I was doing my Bible study this morning and thinking about sin. How sometimes the first time you sin, it's hard to do, you know, and you might know it's wrong, but then you justify and you rationalize and you do all of that. And then eventually or finally or whatever, you, you sin. The next time, it's not quite as hard. The next time, it's not quite as hard. Then the next time, then the next time. And then guess what it becomes? It becomes part of what you do. It becomes assimilated into what you do daily. It becomes internalized into what you do. And, and then it's just easier to stay that way than to do the work to get back on the right path. So those were the things that I was thinking about last night. And, and I wanted to go live last night and share this stuff with y'all. But then I thought, I'll just talk to him on the, in the morning on the Shibby Show. So uh, let's see. Who's on here this morning with me? We've got Chris. Jacksonville, Florida. No change after the WOW Challenge yesterday. Yep. Not worried. I love that. I love that. I'm not worried. That is the way to be thinking about that, Chris. 
Hey, Valerie from Indiana, having a perfect day. Hey, Ron, good morning from Lilburn, Georgia, having a perfect day. Diane from Columbus, Mississippi, I am F Day. She shared, y'all, the share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. It really, really, really is pretty important. So we thank you very much for sharing. And she's down point three. Congratulations, that's awesome. I probably need to get a new scale so I can get excited about being down points of stuff. Mine only does it in half pound increments. <laughs> so this morning when I weighed the same as yesterday, I was like, maybe I should get one. That I'm not going to though, because uh, I don't want to spend any money. Mine works fine, so I don't want to spend any money. Good morning, Charlene. Today is a holiday. She always takes a holiday on her book club night. Enjoy that holiday, Charlene. Good morning, Karen from Houston, Texas. Having an IMF day. Hey, Michelle Harper, good morning. IMF day, Carrollton, Georgia. Do y'all see how the IMF day has started to become part of what we do too? Because once we realize it's really not that hard, at least 12 hours without eating, and it can be your overnight time. And many of us are doing about 16 for sure. Um, you know, 14, 16, that's really, really good. Hey, Dawn, good morning. I am F day for her coming off a holiday and still not very hungry. Yes, totally understand that. Totally understand that. Hey, Nicole, good morning. Woodstock, Georgia, I am F day. That's awesome, Nicole. Good morning, Amy from Ohio. Having an intermittent fasting perfect day. There's Julie, Julie from Indiana, I am F day. Hey, Diane, good morning. Thank you for sharing. I hope you have an awesome weekend too. Um, the Taste of Kennesaw is going on this weekend. I'll be down there. I won't be tasting because I don't like to taste. Um, but at those things. Um, but I will be going down there and looking at all the good stuff. And the Ackworth Charm Tour is going on this weekend too, Diane. Just to let y'all folks in Kennesaw know that they're Kennesaw, Ackworth area. Good things going on this weekend. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Um, Nicole, Daily Battle. I did a wow yesterday and it was tough as well. I'm glad you stuck it out. That is awesome. Good morning, April. I'm doing the cream cheese tortilla wow challenge. Yummy. That sounds good. That sounds good. Polly, good morning. I am F day fasting for a doctor appointment. Prayers for relief from a torn up shoulder pain. Oh, yes. Yes. Needs a reverse replacement. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good at all, Polly. Yes, we'd be praying for your uh, relief of pain and healing and a plan, a good plan. Uh, Tanya, Tanya, officially down 10 pounds today. Congratulations for that. That is awesome. Let's see, Colleen, in, yesterday ended up being a holiday, so today will be perfect, yes. And that kind of thing happens, and we just mark it according to our chart, whether we get 6 or 12, and then we keep on moving along. Diane, just ordered a Renfro scale from eBay for 21. Hope it's the right one. Um, hey, Melanie. Good morning, Melanie. Melanie, I caught up on the Bible study today. Uh, I am F day. Hey, Erica. Good morning from Wichita. Having a holiday for my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Erica. Happy birthday to you. You have a great weekend, too, and enjoy your birthday. Let's see. Lynn, today is my fifth consecutive perfect consecutive day over a year. Congratulations, Lynn. That's awesome. Awesome. Stick with that. Hey, Harriet. Good morning from Ainer, South Carolina. Hope that I said that right. And I'm so glad that y'all are with me this morning. Okay. So this morning I was doing a, a Bible study. And it's called Listen to the Right Voice, and it comes from the Word for You Today app. And it's the verse. There's, I've got several verses today, if y'all feel like typing that in. And I love to see y'all's declarations. So anything that you're feeling from listening to this, please type it in because it's like your declaration. The act of you thinking it and typing it makes a difference. So Isaiah 30, 21. 30, 21. This is the way. Walk in it. I love that. This is the way. Walk in it. So, a respected author, along with her husband and friends, were on a mountaintop discussing which direction to go. One guy said, that's south. Another countered, no, that's east. 
everybody threw in their two cents worth until finally the woman's husband produced a compass and said, we can settle this real fast. Within seconds, the compass confirmed they were in fact facing due west. The only reliable source had the final say. The, and nobody was about to argue with it. Isn't that great? The Bible is the reliable source, the only reliable source. And there's a lot of people out there wanting to argue with it. Let's not be one. In the course of a day, this is so true, in the course of a day, many voices vie for your attention. And we hear Travis saying that a lot. There's a lot of noise out there. Got to break through the noise and get to the real thing. And some that sound like experts can be wrong. Did you hear that? Some that sound like experts can be wrong. Bottom line, you had better know which voice to listen to because if you look only at your circumstances, you will become disoriented. An unexpected phone call, a floundering relationship, a lost job, or a sick child can make north look like south, east, look like west. When that happens, it's easy to lose your bearings jump to conclusions, and end up on the wrong path. This is why we say when things go wrong, don't let your food go with them for sure. Don't go with them. The, path, the Bible says whether you turn right or left, your ears will hear a, hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk in it. There is only one true source of wisdom and truth. And Peter recognized that when he asked, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have... You don't need to know every detail in advance. Uh, Priscilla Shirer did a bit about that in this Bible study, uh, discerning the voice of God of how scary it would be if the Lord showed us the whole picture um, at one time. He doesn't show us the big picture because we would be overwhelmed and think it was impossible. He wants to develop you in unshakable trust and in his character and goodness and acceptance that in order to fulfill his plan, you must depend on his strength. So that was from the Word for You Today app. Well, then I went over to the YouVersion Bible app, and Rick Warren was talking, and I really liked what he had to say and what that said. If you do that, if you have that Bible app, you should go and listen to him today or just listen to me right now because I'm about to tell you. But, okay. So it's 2 Timothy 3, 16, and then I decided to add 17 to it. I mean, he, he added, or the rest of the Bible devotion added 17 to it. But 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. And then verse 17 says, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. The, this verse tells us the purpose, purposes of the Bible. The purpose is not to increase knowledge, but to change our lives. And that happens when we assimilate, internalize, meditate on, put into action, apply, so it's not just to be able to be some Bible scholar, but it is to change our lives. So when it mentions teaching, which is the doctrine, this shows you the path to walk on. Reproof shows us how we got off the path. Three, correction shows us how to get back on the path. In training, instruction in righteousness shows us how to stay on the path. So again, again, everything, everything that the Bible says also leads us to doing right with our food. Absolutely all of it. We have to know the path to walk on. See, I honestly feel like I didn't know the real path to walk on when it came to food. I'd heard this, that, and the other, but I didn't have the full picture like Travis gives us in Shavolith. And then reproof shows us how we got off the path. I was telling a story on Monday night in class and about how I put my business card in a box at Freddy's Fast Food Restaurant and I won a free meal for myself and five of my friends. 
Well, then they all put their cards in there and they started winning. We were eating at Freddy's for free, like three and four times a week. I mean, it was, and I was, you know, since it was free, I was just eating it all, except for the bun. I never did do the bun. But believe me, I would eat the fries and the, I always liked to lettuce wrap even before Shadola. Um, and then I, but I would do that sweet tea and I would do that, that uh, big old giant turtle sundae. And we were eating there like crazy. So it's like, how did I get off the path for that time? By putting my card in a box because a business is trying to get business and, you know, keep you coming back there. And it did for some time, but mm -mm, I don't need to be doing that. So I got some correction. I got, well, you know, I got some uh, weight gain. Then the correction shows us how to get back, get back on the path. And all the correction is many times is the education. It's not like you're gonna turn somebody over your knee and give them a spanking. It really is just the education that we need. That's the correction. But you have to be willing to listen to it and apply it to make it work. And then training. Training is continually wanting to have the education and staying close to the community so that you can and desire and want to stay on the path Plus, don't you want it to get easier and easier? The longer you stay on, the easier it is. And then so uh, Rick Warren ended up with this. Why do we need this in our lives daily? So that we can become the purpose, of course he said purpose, the person of purpose God intends us to be. And this food thing is a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Um, because he lives in us. And I mean, it, it really, besides sharing who Jesus is, and the saving grace of what he has to offer and his gift of salvation, helping people understand how to eat, I think is just as important. Now, I'm going to tell you, though, a lot of people, just like people will reject, have you ever seen people reject Jesus? Have you ever seen people reject the information you have to share? When it's not, you know, I, I can't worry about that. Whether they eat properly or don't eat properly is not going to keep them from Except in Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. So when I see those walls got to go up, I don't fight that particular battle. I may kind of, you know, keep showing them the way to live, but I've seen them reject that too. You can see the walls go up. Okay, so the other verse was uh, first. Uh, if y'all want to type this other verse in, this other one is 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Diane. Don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour this weekend so you don't uh, get to church too early. <laughs> or maybe that'd be a good thing. Yeah, you can go into the prayer room, get on your knees. Um, yes, I love that, Diane. You always put things so succinctly. I love it. Lord, guide my steps that I might walk in your ways. Oh, y'all are typing in that other verse. Awesome. Okay, good morning, Kathy. Long story short, I had COVID in September and I have gotten off Shibboleth. With all that being said, I'm back on. Yay! Okay, this is for Bayon back on because that's a celebration, okay? As of today, having a perfect day, weighing in at 161. Great job, Kathy. You can stay committed. You can. Love you too. Love you too. You can do it. Glad to hear this. This is great news. Um, I love that, Diane. Lord, let me heed your word that I may be equipped to do your will Correct my errors, instruct me in your ways, reproof my life. I love that. Hey, Julie, just like God doesn't show us the whole truth at once would be scary. Also, we shouldn't despair at not getting out to our target and goal weight immediately. Amen. Amen. That requires patience too. Um, enjoy each step of the way in your progress and don't get discouraged. You know, that can be summed up in this is the way we should be eating anyway. Even if we didn't see what we wanted on the scale, we never need to give up. This is the way that we should be eating anyway. All right, what's going on on Planet Shibboleth today? So, we should have the prayer time at noon, not at noon, at 10, uh, with Dr. Jim. And then, fast track tonight. I'm going to be go over, going over the advanced combination chart, the video library, the restaurant guide, and wow challenges. And people always find new things to eat um, when we go through those things. And you have a daily share that you can share that for other people to get registered if you would like to do that. I did update the daily shares. 
Um, I will see you back for the Chevy show on Monday morning, but I'm here every night at 7.30 um, for Fast Track. And if you have any questions that have come up during the day, say, okay, I know where I can ask this tonight at 7.30. Of course, you can also use the chat feature on the website too. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Go ahead and journal right now. And if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shaboleth for his glory. Have a great weekend, y'all.